I'm taking a temporary break from social media, although not YouTube, not YouTube, just to be clear, I got videos coming, so don't go anywhere, but from all the other platforms. And today, I would like to talk about what led me to make this outrageous decision. So usually in these videos, we will follow some sort of storyline surrounding a topic. Today, however, I just want to get some things off my chest and give you sort of the creator perspective. So I'm going to be talking about things like integrity, but also about the value of stopping and reflecting in life as a human, creator or not. We sometimes think that everyone else just effortlessly has everything figured out and we're the only ones feeling lost. Well, there's at least one more person feeling that way right now and you're looking at her. Lately, I've been feeling a disconnect with myself as a creative. I've been dealing with questions like, is what I'm creating aligning with my values and principles? Am I creating the things that I want to create? What's important to me and where do I want to take things? And right now, being on social media isn't exactly helping me figure any of those things out for a variety of reasons. Information overload. You know, the very nature of social media encourages superficiality and mindlessness. And we're quick to scroll and click like and comment and share, often without paying much thought to the post itself or even less the person behind it. And I'm like that as well. You know, 95% of the Insta stories that I watch I just watch them like that, so I'm not even watching. I don't even know what the point of scrolling through them is. And thanks to the infinite scroll feature, God bless, it never ends. So within minutes, we are exposed to more information than we can even remember or even care to remember for that matter. Now, sometimes for some people, social media can actually help you feel a little less lost. You know, you might feel inspired and get ideas, which of course is fantastic. And I also think that it depends on what field you're in, but personally, in times like this, social media just makes me feel like I'm in a room where everyone is yelling and I can't understand any of it. Even if they might actually be saying nice things, I just want out, like literally outside because nothing inspires me more than just living, as cheesy as that may sound. So I know that for me, the only way to reconnect is to disconnect. Autistic integrity. So to some people in, in any creative field, the most important thing is personal growth and artistic growth. To others, the most important thing is, you know, audience growth and exposure growth. And I'm not saying that one is better than the other, and I'm also not seeing that everyone falls into either of those two categories. I definitely think that there is a spectrum, but I do think that knowing where you stand as a creative is something that needs to be clear because, you know, different objectives will require different measures. And I think I know where I stand and I've always known, but I just need to reconnect with that. And in order to do so, I think it's important to take a step back and to zoom out. You know, once you start to put your work out there, you start to learn what type of, let's say videos, for example, typically perform better than others. And sometimes the types of videos that don't perform very well are the types of videos that you enjoy making the most. And then sometimes the videos that do in fact perform better aren't the types of videos that really align with the artist that you are or that you want to be, or it may simply not be what you enjoy creating. But due to the very nature of how validation is received on social media, that is through likes and shares and comments and praise, I think it can sometimes be difficult to not let those things influence you to the point where you compromise your artistic integrity for the sake of recognition or acceptance or popularity. When you are able to maintain your own highest standards of integrity, regardless of what others may do, you are destined for greatness. When I first got into photography, it was purely for fun and for myself. And this was long before Instagram was even a thing. And I just loved capturing moments and things that I found to be beautiful or strange or 
anything that just made me feel something. But when I got on social media and time went on, not only did videography kind of take over, but I think one of the reasons photography was so easy to let go was because it had become less fun. Anytime I snapped photos, I would have to be honest with myself and ask, am I happy with this photograph because it's making me feel something? Or am I happy with it because it looks like the type of photograph that will get a lot of likes and I'm looking forward to the rush that will come from that and perhaps some blue tick people will praise my work which will give other people the impression that I'm cool and relevant. Now I'm not saying that it can't be both but we're usually mainly motivated by one or the other. And look, there is nothing wrong with wanting to curate your feed and being sales and marketing minded. In fact, if you're trying to build a business, which a lot of artists want, because who does not want to be able to make a living doing what they love, it's absolutely necessary to some extent. But where does business smart end and compromising your integrity begin? Now I'm trying not to be a black and white kind of person where in this situation I'm either on all social media platforms and I'm posting every day or I'm deleting them all off my phone at once. So although that's what I'll be doing right now, just for a few weeks, I'll definitely go back to posting quotes on Twitter and chatting with you all on Instagram soon enough. You know, the conversations that we have over there are incredibly meaningful to me, but for now, I'm going to focus on me and on YouTube. So me and YouTube, YouTube and I. I think everyone should take a step back sometimes and ask, hold up, what am I doing here again? You know, even in our personal life, pausing to reevaluate is important. It's easy to just get caught up in old habits and ways of doing things and ways of being and even ways of thinking. Like the other day I was talking with a friend, it's someone I really care about, and she told me she has been struggling a bit mentally lately. And that really made me stop and reflect on our friendship and on myself as a friend. You know, it shouldn't need to get to a point where something happens that kind of forces us to stop and reflect. But rather I think it's important to do that voluntarily from time to time even if everything seems to be going smoothly it's it's good to check in you know life isn't a race it's an infinite road trip so stop on the way and have a picnic and check out the view that's what i'm going to do right now literally the weather here in stockholm has been lovely this week we finally got some sun the air is getting warm, so you know all the Swedes are running outside. And I'm one of them. I'm going to go and take a walk with a friend. I know, an introvert with a friend. Wild. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you soon.